so here's kind of a little uh, update after one week. I have darkling beetles. Got a couple of them around here. Got a bunch of the pulpe. And in the bottom set of the tank. There's just a bunch of mealworms. They're on the cardboard tubes. They're on the carrots. And I'm going to pick a couple beetles out here as I go. And then it's self sifting right into the bottom. Pupa risers so that the beetles can't get up to it, but when they're ready to hatch, they can just crawl off and join the other population. Um, since mine are gun rights mealworms, I made them out of some 357 Magnums with 40 Smith & Wessons that are sleeved over top. See how that works in the next couple days.
And this is where we got to with the advance of the Mealworm Hotel or Motel. I have uh, since increased from the four bins I've added uh, to accommodate the different growth and future growth of the po of the colony. I have eighth inch screens that are uh, glued and heat melted into the bottom of these bins so they're self sorting. I have a uh, pupa catchment bin that I kind of just throw the ones that mutate into there. And then I have a screened in bottom on the next one. This is probably two to three thousand uh, mid sized larva mealworms. They have been doing a number on the egg carton. I don't know that I'll keep on adding those, but I wanted to see um, that they eat the styrofoam, and they have been. The toilet paper tubes are just something for them to be able to hide in, and they're always in there. This banana was in there for about a, a day or two. They really did a number on eating that up through. This is trial and error, but so far it's been working quite well for me. This next one is the juvenile bin. This is my first set of eggs that came through within this uh, last season. There's probably two to 3,000 eggs that hatched, and they're starting to pupate here uh, within this week that I was filming this. As it's self-sorting, um, all the frass goes down through, and the paper. And this is just a bottom bin that has uh, a screened-in bottom that will hold a, a more wheat bran for more bedding as the colony expands. Uh, I'll move the baby mealies over once they're about four to six weeks old. This is something I came up with. This is a screened pupa catchment thing. As they hatch out, the adult beetles will be able to crawl up the sides and they're easily transferred into the beetle den. And this is a lot of, of the molts and the skins that are still left. But as they, uh, they hatch over, which is, you know, seven to 14 days until they pupate and then turn into beetles. This is an easy way for me to move it over to the next one. And it has substrate in case uh, they overflow into that, which will be my new uh, beetle den in a month. And we get to the beetle den. I have the risers, which the population was going a little too fast, but they did work. Um, I was putting uh, the pupa on top of that. They would crawl off and go into the population population is now uh, pretty well moving along. We have probably a thousand to three thousand beetles that are now laying. And accounting for the females, the females probably lay you know, three to four eggs per day. So this population should be doing six to eight hundred eggs per day that are sticking on this uh, corrugated cloth here. This is a, a good way that the beetles lay the eggs on there and they're easily transferred so that they don't get eaten. There is a lot of the eggs that fall through the screened mess into uh, the egg nursery. In about 14 to 21 days, from my experience, they've been hatching and this will have uh, a couple thousand uh, baby mealies that'll be in there and that's a solid bottom so that the frass from from the beetles with the eggs don't get mixed into the main population the the heating pad I use over the winter that keeps the temperature regulated over the summer I wouldn't use that because there's generated heat from uh, the mealworms eating and the major um, difference I might make is on the double bin there, uh, change out the screen 
so that the eggs and baby mealies won't fall through and just the really fine bedding and frass will fall through. This is Lucy. Uh, she really enjoys her mealworms. And uh, you get to watch Lunch with Lucy on my other channel, which was where the, this video will be listed in duplicate. And I'm going to be moving all the mealworm stuff to that other channel. So please sub sub subscribe and take a look at both channels. Thank you for watching.